Hi everybody, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you and um, welcome to my uh, cooking channel. We're cooking for the chakras and we've been working on the root chakra for quite some time now and we will be continuing on the root chakra. So uh, I work for a food delivery company and or a grocery delivery company and uh, yesterday I had to do a delivery and this person had ordered some smoked uh, turkey wings and some good soul food and I thought I haven't had that in a long time so I think I'm gonna go buy myself some of those things and so today I'm doing um, collard greens with um, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this smoked turkey wings <laughs> I said, yeah, I have a little bit of soul in me, um, but also we're doing, um, we're adding rutabagas to it, because rutabagas is a root, uh, it's from the root, and this is what it looks like. Um, it's often confused with turnip greens. I think they put that wax stuff on it to keep it from molding, or I don't really know, for protection, I guess. So I'm, in the, I'm using my crock pot that a friend of mine gave to me. It's much bigger than the last one that I used. And um, to starters, I'm going to use the mushroom broth that I bought the other day um, to use for my last stew. I'm just going to use the rest of that, or maybe not the rest of it, but a good bit of it to kind of give it some flavor. And again, yeah, I mean, I love mushrooms, but my 21-year-old son, Noah, does not. And um, I'm a little lazy, I admit. I buy the packaged collard greens. They've already been cut up and everything. If you um, know anything about collards, they're a real pain in the ass to have to um, to have to clean, you know, because you got to clean every leaf. So I just buy it like this, and I bought two packages. They had them on sale. Um, it was like two packages for five dollars or four dollars. I don't remember, but anyway, so I just go ahead and dump all these in. Oh yeah. They've already been washed, so I don't have to wash them or anything. Um, and actually, when you um, put these in your pot, it fills your pot up, but when they start to cook, they, they go down to nothing almost. So that's why I got two bags, but I'm, I guess I'm going to have to wait um, for them to cook down to put the rest of this in because it's not enough. So. Um, I go ahead and I put my uh, smoked turkey wings in. I all have always used ham for this, and years ago, um, I was dating somebody, and we had tried the uh, collards with some smoked turkey wings, and they were the best collards I had ever eaten, ever, and so that's why I decided to go to the turkey wings and, and for some of you that are um, you know don't eat ham you know this wouldn't uh, the turkey wings would be a better alternative for you um, we will be doing a series on <coughs> excuse me on cooking vegetarian style because even though I love meat there are some times that I just feel like I, I don't want to eat meat or for some of you that, you know, are fasting. But let me tell you something. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, do not try to turn people that are don't eat your way into being vegetarian or vegan. It's like some a Christian trying to convert somebody. And so it pisses it really pisses me off when somebody tries to give me a lecture on why I should not eat um, meat. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's, some people have to eat meat um, according to their blood type. A friend of mine who has studied all that told me that there are certain blood types that they, they just have to have meat, and I'm one of those people. I believe if you're an O positive, that's one of the, um, that's one of the blood types that needs meat, but I do get, you know, to a point sometimes where I feel like I need to take a break, and so... Anyway, doing this sort of thing, uh, the collards is a great way to to go that route. If, if I wasn't eating meat, I wouldn't be putting the the turkey wings in it. So anyway, the the deal with this turnip green, they're pain. 
but they're really, really good for you. They have a lot of benefits. Uh, very healthy for you. And some people eat these. If you're, um, you know, I know cauliflower has been a big thing to take over like mashed potatoes, but these are really good if you don't want to eat potatoes or starches. These are really good if you um, want to convert it, like mash it up like a mashed potato. Now when you start adding all the other stuff like the salt, and, not the salt, but um, the butter and all that other good stuff and the bacon and <laughs> it may not be as healthy for you. But anyway, they're a pain in the butt to cut up, but it doesn't take very long. So I'm just cutting this up. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with it. Um, so today in Charleston, it's really nice outside. I'm going to have a friend of mine is going to pick me up. Or no, he's not going to pick me up. I'm going to meet him. We're going to go have lunch together. Here's this really... I'm scraping all the wax off my cutting board. There's this really cool uh, little joint um, here in, in West Ashley that if you don't know about it and you love gyros, they're the best. They're the best that I've ever eaten. Um, and they're so inexpensive. It's a place called... Um, Mario's Pizza's Pizza Grill, and it's on Savannah Highway, and it's um, it's like across the street from Krispy Kreme Donuts, and it's in the same shopping center as Jimmy John's. I won't eat Jimmy John's, but uh, for personal reasons. But anyway, um, they have the best gyros, and they're only like six dollars and ninety five cents. <laughs> so, and they pile. I mean, the the meat. They actually carve it right in front of you from the, the, the little spit that goes around and around. And uh, it's, it's so tender. And they, they pile the meat on. I mean, you could get just one and split it with somebody else because they pile so much meat on it. Um, so anyway, this is what the rutabaga bagel looks like after I have um, um, cut off the, the uh, outer layer or the peel it wasn't too bad so now I just take a much bigger knife to cut it up and sometimes you just have to cut it in small um, small sections because it can be tough like this one is um, oh, goodness uh, let's see So, this is how I cut the rutabaga up. And like I said, you can, you know, you can boil it and mash it up like it's, like you would as if you were eating mashed potatoes if you're trying to watch, you know, your, your carbs. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I've cut it up into, I know my lighting's really bad. Um, but, you know, I'm just getting started with all this, so I'll fix the lighting soon. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I just cut it up into cubes, dump it into my um, collard greens, and uh, with my <laughs> smoked turkey wings. <laughs> and I, I, I'm just going to cook it all day long. I'm going to season it with some salt and add a little bit of olive oil to it, because olive oil is really good on uh, collard greens. And I don't have any garlic, but I would add garlic to it as well as you should too, because garlic is a root. Um, remember, the root uh, chakra, you want to eat things that are of the root, because um, those those um, foods, they're, they're actually growing in the ground, and um, that's going to help you get a little bit more grounded. As you want to be as connected to the earth as you possibly can. Um, and some signs of uh, an unhealthy root chakra is if you have a lot of fears, insecurities, feeling like you don't have enough, um, anxiety is really big um, for people that have an unhealthy root chakra. So just, um, you know, like we're doing, we're working on the root chakra. It's going to take a long time to heal that. So um, if you're in Charleston, I'm having a a chakra workshop. I believe it's January 5th. You can go to my website at www.gypsyspiritcharleston.com.
www.thebookshop.com and you can see all the things that are coming up. So um, I hope to see you again soon and um, if you like this recipe, yay! <laughs> Try some, it's really good. Okay, bye-bye.